Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to change the units being displayed for the barometer on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical watch. Doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, solar or not solar, this video is going to work for all of them. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to what any of the hotkeys do. So what am I talking about with regard to barometric pressure? This watch has a barometer on it. And one of the things you can do is change the units being displayed on your barometer. Much like the thermometer, do you want to see Celsius or Fahrenheit? You can control what you're being displayed for your barometer. If you look at mine, you'll see that I'm looking at a trend of my barometer over the last 48 hours. And I'm currently at a barometric pressure reading of 1,024 hectopascals. Now, for some people who know more about weather, this might be perfect for you. You might know what that is. In my case, I had no idea which unit of measurement I should be showing for my barometer. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to change it in the event that you want to change it to a more appropriate uh, unit for where you are. I think it kind of varies depending on where you are. In my case, the reason I want to change it is I'm an iPhone user. I use the standard weather app that is on the iPhone. And on the iPhone, you can see that my pressure is showing in 30.22 INHG, which is inches of mercury. So I'd like to be able to compare my watch to my phone to see whether or not I'm getting a pretty similar reading with regards to the barometric pressure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it on the watch. It's very easy. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can go into the barometer and change it from those settings, or you can go directly to your settings and change it there. I'm gonna do it in this video in your settings. We're gonna go ahead and press the menu button. We're gonna arrow down to settings, press GPS to select settings, and we're gonna arrow up or down until we get to system. Once we're on system, we'll press GPS to select it, and then we're gonna arrow all the way down until we get to units, press GPS for units. We're gonna arrow down until we get to pressure. I'm gonna press GPS to select pressure and you're gonna see a couple different options. Again, mine was currently set to hectopascals. You can do millibars, you can do MMHG, which is millimeters of mercury, or this one, which is HG, which is inches, uh, inches of mercury. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to inches of mercury. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the back button. Once you've got it set the way you want to, all you're gonna do is go back. You'll notice that my screen is still the same, but instead of 1,020 or whatever it was, it's 30.23, which is pretty darn close to what my phone is saying, 30.22. So now at least I've got some kind of reference. I can look at my watch and tell what the barometric pressure is, and I can also go to my phone and compare it to my phone to see whether or not I'm getting an accurate reading. You can set it accordingly to whatever your preference is. That's a quick video to show you how to change the units of barometric pressure on your Garmin Instinct watch. I've done a video in the past where I go into more details about the barometer settings on the watch. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video in case it helps you. As always, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out.